Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley J, A-S-H-E-L-I-E. -E, and today is Saturday, so we're doing small business talk Saturday. And in this video, I figured why not show you guys how I take pictures for my website, ajbeauty.com, where I sell handmade com cosmetics as well as mink lashes. And so this is my setup. Yeah, isn't it kind of pretty? <laughs> anyway um i have a white blank sheet it's just white no print on it and the white sheet helps the white blank sheet helps with um not being able to like distract from the design of the product so you guys can see like clearly what the style is of the lashes or whatever the style is of the product and it doesn't distract it from the product and the product stands out because of the white background and then i recently got this new camera i've really been loving it i'm still trying to figure out the recording settings of like um trying to create a video because the videos keep coming out really crappy but this is the canon sx40 hs if i said that right of course i will leave everything in the description box below um, I can't leave a link to it because I kind of just found it on Amazon and I got a steal for it for like $200. But I will leave the name of the camera down below. And so just finishing up some of the photos. And then we go into actually showing you guys the photos on the camera itself. It came out really good. And I'll be showing you guys them a little bit later. And so I figured why not add a makeup routine in this video and so i just went ahead and put the fenty beauty primer the pro filter mattifying primer then i went in with the anastasia beverly hills foundation in the shade 480c just making sure to blend that all out that's my favorite brush by the way that elf blending brush is amazing i i think i have two pair of those brushes and i really do like that brush a lot then I'm going to go in with the Sephora Concealer in the shade, I have the shade Toffee, which is the color 14. I don't feel as if it's light enough for my skin complexion, but I didn't feel like returning it. So now I'm blending that shade out. Now I wanted to go for something really simple, really natural, nothing too crazy because I didn't want to take away from the eyes. I wanted the lashes to be the only thing that really mattered in the photo shoot. And so now I'm using some mattifying setting powder. And I'm not baking. I'm just patting this in. I have the shade Tan. And that's from e.l.f. Like I said, I'm not baking. I'm just like tapping that in because I do get oily and I don't want that to capture on camera. So I'm trying to make sure I really mattify my my t-zone area and even a little bit all over the face and i'm going to go in with my favorite contour palette use that deepest shade in the palette to kind of contour lightly on my face not too much just a little bit i contoured my nose a little bit i actually like my nose then i go in with my favorite product the elf brow pencil brush them a little bit and like fix them up really nicely I love this product. I think I've gone through like maybe eight of these already. Ever since I started makeup, I started using this product and I just fell in love with it. I'm using the Sephora concealer in order to clean it up. Just blend that out really nicely. I made sure to blend that out like really nicely, like real nice because there have been times where I've taken pictures and the concealer was still showing and I was like, what? Like, how did I miss that? So I make sure I blend it out nice, nice. Then I go in with the Fenty Beauty Shimmer Stick. And I have the shade Cinnamon. I put that lightly on my lids. I just wanted to give it a little bit of color. Nothing too crazy. Then I go in with the highlighter, the Glow Highlighter, which is in the shade Moonlight by e.l.f. This highlighter is very powerful. And I would recommend that you be careful with it. It doesn't look like I'm putting a lot, but... It did when I was doing it. Then I'm using my Stunner Lip Gloss. Very hydrating lip gloss. This has become one of my favorite lip colors. 
it's a nice um shade of brown it's a nice nice beautiful nude i really do love it my lip gloss has run for eight dollars by the way and then i'm gonna go in with the better than sex mascara i put a lot under my under eye i don't go crazy but i put a decent amount under my under eye and then i only put like maybe a little bit on the top eye because i am going to be putting on lashes so i just put just a little bit and then i go in with the elf eyeliner i simply only put this eyeliner because i want to make sure that if i do put the lashes on and they don't look they're not close enough to my natural lashes then i don't want it to be that able that you see it so now we're going to put the lashes on that's the glue that's the the tweezers i also have tweezers on the website i'm selling glue later on the lashes that we're putting on right now i was really struggling for some reason so i had to like put the glue on the method that i know how this is out of this world lashes o-o-t-y o-o-t-w <laughs> i don't know why i said why there's my canon camera again and so we just took some pictures and I didn't know how I was going to style this, so I decided to do it this method where I do half the screen, the the picture, and then half the screen, the video. Don't know. I hope, I hope you guys liked it because I couldn't think of a way to actually do it where it made sense. Now we're going to use Brat, which is a short to medium lash. You guys, I tried on all 9 to 12 lashes in this video. It's completely insane, but I did it. I did it for the brand. I did it for the beauty brand. And so that's how those ones look. Some of the pictures look kind of crazy because I didn't know what face to make. Not really good at the selfie thing with the camera, but that's Aqua Babe. Aqua Babe is a pretty nice, it's a pretty nice lash design. It's very interesting. And it's full from the air, the, I mean, it's full from the, the inner corner of the eye to the outer corner of the eye so i thought that was really interesting i'm not too sure why i would take pictures with my eyes closed but i did so yeah <laughs> then we're gonna use winks oh my gosh winks became one of my favorite lashes i just love how like pretty they look now if you're wondering i did not cut the lashes you know lashes don't it's not one size fits all I didn't cut them because that would have been a lot to do and then put them all on and take them off and take pictures. That's a lot. But nonetheless, that is how Winx looks. It looks so pretty. So pretty. And so the next lash design that I have would be PYT. PYT is really nice lash. These names, I don't know where I came came up with the idea of the names but i just thought you know what is something that you would call lashes or something i don't know i just i wanted like pretty names that's all i don't even know how to explain that but pyt is short closer to the 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 inner of the eye and then longer towards the outer of the eye but it's not extremely long it's still like pretty short it gets like short to medium basically that's one in a million. One is in one in a million is supposed to be for my mom's collection. I do have a mom collection coming out. And so these ones are like very short, very natural looking lashes. Not bold at all, because that's what my mom wanted. Then I have single. I'm not sure if this was single, but it looks as if it was. Single is medium. Single is basically medium to long lashes, and they're not as full as boss lashes, but they're full. But they're not as full as boss lashes. Boss lashes are long and very full, but that's single, basically. And so it's it's not one of my favorites, but I did get single. Um, that's Heartbreaker. That's my favorite lash. I wear these lashes all the time because if you wear glasses. La um heartbreaker i know for a fact you can wear your glasses your glasses and heartbreaker at the same time and that you won't have no problems i had to put boss in like this because i didn't have i don't think i took pictures of that one within this video 
but that's all the photos even some of the photos I did before and so that's kind of how everything looks on there transferred it to my iPad and so now if you like this video give it a thumbs up um go check out agbeauty.com that's my lip gloss again that's stunner and then I wanted to show you guys my lash packaging that is the new lash packaging for the lashes it's a pretty little diamond packaging so give it a thumbs up like comment and subscribe and I see you guys in my next video bye bye